Hello, my name is Artem Bisarin. I'm from Kyiv, Ukraine. This lesson is about the comb filtering. Comb filtering is based on constructive and destructive interference, so let me show you what they are at first. I have a sine wave vibrating 1000 times per second. It's obvious that the interference happens only uh, when you have at least uh, two waves. So that's why I am duplicating this track. So now we have two identical sine waves which start playing at the same time. If we play them, then we will have sound level increased for 6 dB. Together, together they play louder, which is obvious. Each crest of the first wave is amplified by the corresponding crest of of the second wave and each throw of the first wave is amplified by the corresponding throw of the second wave. Uh, it's a basic example of constructive interference. But what if we adjust all crests of one wave to the throats of another? We need to make a half cycle shift of this wave so it starts half millisecond later than the first wave. Let's try to play it. There's no any sound. The throws of the uh, first wave are cancelled by the crests of the second wave and the crests of the s uh, first wave are cancelled by the throws of the second one. It's a basic example of destructive interference. They call it phase cancellation. But a very interesting things start happening in case we have a more complicated type of sound wave. For example, a sawtooth wave. I'm muting my sine waves and here is a sawtooth wave. It has a uh, lot of partials as you see and when we have when we have another identical sawtooth wave and when we start shifting it Then some partials are tonating or cancelling each other and some of them are amplified. This is called comb filtering.